Hey, right, what's up, YouTube? This is Brandon. But of course, I don't need no introductions because y'all watching my video. And if you watch my video, you already know who I am. But I just do it anyway for formalities. <laughs> okay, let me stop. So today's topic in this video, well, not today's topic, but the topic for this video is I'm going to be talking about what, how to live the Christian life. What is the Christian life? You know, what does it mean to be saved? You know, in society, it's, it's often, we got this form of Christianity where if you simply just mentally ascend to the idea that, of, that Yeshua did what he did, that, you're, that everything is good, you're all cool, and you're going to make it. And unfortunately, for you that believe that, that is a lie. You're not a Christian because you say so. You're a Christian because you do so, because you're transformed. And I'm not talking about a work-based salvation. I don't believe in that. You know, uh, you're saved by faith and faith alone. However, when there is faith, it says, it says faith without faith without works is dead. All right? So what does that mean? If you're saved by faith alone, then the works, if you're genuinely saved, the, the works will be a byproduct of the faith. Meaning, when you get saved, all right, you have a heart change, right? Second Corinthians, I believe it's in Second Corinthians. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, the new has come. All right, so you're you're a new you're a new creature, and you're going through the sanctification process and being conformed to the image of the Son. Right. So in you have to allow that process to take place. And in order for that process to take place, you have to have genuine faith in it. Not just a mental, not just mentally ascending to the idea, but rather letting it transform your life. That's what it means to be saved. It's not I said a prayer, I'm good. And I can go back, I can go back to whatever I wanted to do. Because that's not because a genuine self, a, a genuine conversion is a change of the heart. If there is no change in your life, in the way you view things, and the way you view sin, then it's probably a false conversion. And that's what a lot of people, a lot of people in church, that's what a lot of churches are filled with nowadays, a lot of false converts. Because they, they just go say the quote unquote sinner's prayer, and then they go back living like hell. And you can't do that. Yeshua says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. We're, we're under the law of Christ, okay? The law of Christ is the easiest thing ever. Love the Lord with all your heart and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Because if you do that, essentially you're fulfilling the whole law anyway. If you love God with all your heart, you're not, you're not going to be rebelling against him. You're not going to be broke, breaking the moral code. That you know you can you can look through in um, in the Old Testament and it's re and reiterated in the New. Be, being a being a Christian is a big deal. It's not just it's not just something that should be taken lightly. When you when you get saved, you got a huge responsibility on your hands because now you have the saving knowledge of the Lord Yeshua Hamashiach or Jesus Christ. And with that knowledge, you're accountable for everything you know, and you are and you are commanded by the Lord to spread the gospel, to, to, to speak the good news to every nation, spread the word, evangelize, also make disciples. Meaning, you 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 help lead somebody to the Lord. You don't just leave them. Okay, okay, you're saved. You're good now. No, you take them under 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 your wing, and you raise them up in the faith. You, you show them what it's like, what what this Christian walk is all about. Because a lot of times people get saved, and we end up having a stillbirth, meaning that they never grow. They just they and then they end up being lost and all ultimately fall away. And that's not what we're called to do. We're called to be leaders, ambassadors for Christ. And a lot of people are just under the impression that I'm, I'm, I'm saved, I'm good, I'm going to go about living my life. And it doesn't work like that. 
It's never worked like that. It's not biblical. Yeshua didn't do it. And if he didn't do it, you shouldn't do it either. All right? This is a very, a very strong delusion that's, that seems to be taking place in America. I can't speak for other countries. I don't know. But all I know is what's happening in America, how Christianity is viewed. Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. Um, oh, but you're doing this, 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 and this. Uh, yeah, but God forgives. Yes, God is very forgiving. He is very forgiving. No doubt about it. But there's a difference between sinning and living iniquity. When you make, when you let your sin define who you are, and you live, and you're living that lifestyle, those people will not inherit the kingdom of God. And and that that's that's a theme that that you'll read commonly in Paul's letters. When you sin, that's a that's a one time, or not not a one time thing, but it, when you sin, you repent, you know. You, you come back, you're good. But when you have iniquity, like I said, it becomes a part of who you are. It becomes a part of your mentality. It's almost like you're telling God to take a back seat. You're like, yeah, God, I, I know that, you know, you know, I know that this is wrong, but I want to do it anyway. When you get under that mindset, that's when you're in very serious error and danger and judgment. Being a Christian means you're going to have to sacrifice for others. You're going to have to sacrifice your time, maybe your finances, Lord forbid. Because, you know, you know, it's not like, it's not like, you know, Americans are in love with their money or anything like that. But it takes investment. And it takes building a relationship with the Lord. And you do that through reading your word, prayer, fasting, if you, you know, if you feel led to. And ultimately, just trying to stay in constant communion with, or constant communication with the Holy Spirit. It's almost kind of sad nowadays that I that I, I even have to really explain what being a Christian is. Well, it's because there's been so many false teachers and bad teachers that haven't taught anybody. You know, they 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 teach you, you know, I'm good, you're good, everybody's good. And that's not the case. There's a reason Yeshua talked about hell so much, because he doesn't want any human to go there. And that's why he went through the lanes that he went through to save to save you from eternal damnation. But it's ultimately on you what you're gonna do. So let me ask you, you two, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna live for the Messiah's glory? Or are you gonna live for your own glory? Really think about that. And really evaluate yourself if you are a believer. Really evaluate what you're doing. Are you are you making a difference? Are you doing any of the things that I, that I listed below? And once again, just so I put emphasis on this, this isn't work-based salvation. Alright? This is just what happens when you get saved because of your change of heart. Because when you have a change of heart, you want to do God's work. Okay? want to make sure I got that 100% clear so nobody twist my message twist my words or anything all right so with that being said that's all I got to say really on that topic I could go more in depth you know bring in more scripture make this more of a sermon type thing but I'm just doing like little little snippets of this um if you like the if, if you if you if you like the video you know leave a comment leave a thumbs up whatever and um share this with somebody who you know you feel could benefit from this video all right try to get this word out if you feel it'll benefit anybody with that being said that's all i got to say for the time being all praise and glory to to god the father and to the lord yeshua stay blessed y'all